Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Mike here with another video. This one is actually a redo of a video that I posted a few days ago. Um, when I did that video, I was a little bit tired. I wasn't thinking straight, said some things that maybe uh, were a little bit too much, and I didn't go in depth on some things that I should have. So here we go. Um, this video, well, actually this product is inspired by a very cool guy that actually commented on my last video so if you end up watching this thank you so much I mean that just you have no idea how much that blessed me um, but uh, this awesome great guy goes by the name of Mike Snowdy if you are subscribed to his YouTube channel uh, Snowdy Knives you may have watched one of his more recent videos on his tactical jewelry uh, I will link that video in the description it kind of talks about the philosophy behind these and a little bit of how to use these in an emergency situation. Um, this is pretty much a self-defense tool that hopefully you will never need, but if you do, it doesn't look like a weapon, it doesn't seem like a weapon, you shouldn't have to deal with all the BS that you would in the court of law as if it were a weapon, you know, if you were to carry a coup baton or um, something else that could be used lethally, uh, you know, a knife. He kind of covers this in his video, so I'll let you watch that. But uh, it doesn't look like a weapon, but it can be used as one. Um, this is the first one I did. It is designed to be held like this, and you can strike your opponent, adversary, um, with that tip right there. Uh, you can strike them on their arms, uh, their body, their ribs. Um, God forbid you need to go lethal, you can strike them on their temple, and that would finish the job very quickly, uh, most likely. Also, I think a fantastic place to go with this, you got it in your right hand. Hold it down by your waist. Sorry, you can't really see what's going on here. But hold it down by your waist, and then drive it out. Um, drive it straight out into uh, your opponent. Um, let's see, how should I explain where this is at? Okay, so you imagine someone's belly button. Go about four or so inches to the right or to the left. It doesn't matter. It's on both sides. It's an extreme pressure point. Excuse me, I don't know the uh, proper name. But if you hit somebody there, it will completely, uh, it, it can mess them up. Like, it will not cause any permanent damage, or it shouldn't, um, and it will not cause death or anything like that, but it will lay somebody out. Uh, you can do this with your fist as well, but if you do, I suggest putting a knuckle out like that. You're not striking into bone, and uh, puts more pressure on a spot. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, hit them pretty much, pressure points, you know, like I said, temple if you need to go lethal, uh, God forbid. Um, also, if this disturbs you about my talking about, uh, you know, what I would do to defend my life, um, I'm sorry. I personally believe that the greatest form of believing is preparation. And by me preparing... For a horrible situation by carrying one of these I'm believing that I will never need one I'm not one of those psychos that go out looking for a fight I don't want to fight I couldn't be happier if I never got another fight in my life do I think that's likely no but still you know I'd be very happy if that was the case um, but at the same time I like to think these things through I don't know if I like to, that kind of sounds weird, but uh, I choose to think these things through. What would I do if my life was on the line? What would I do if someone was about to kill my sister? You know, how would I stop them? What would I do to prevent this horrible thing from happening? And the honest answer to this is it's not going to be me. 
if I can help it. And it's not going to be my family or those that I love. Who does that leave? The guy that's trying to do something that he should not be doing. I know it's uh, gruesome. It's something we don't want to think about. Or at least most of us don't want to think about it. But if you think about it, you'll be better mentally prepared for when the situation arises. Or if it arises. Hopefully it doesn't for any of us. Um, this follows through with any of my videos on my channel. If I am doing a knife review on, say, I don't know, it's a knife I'll be reviewing soon. How about this? Kershaw Asset. And I talk about how this Persian style blade is a phenomenal slasher. Um, and this extremely delicate tip is good for penetration. So God forbid you end up in a situation where you need to use this knife for defense. And even though it's a smaller folder, it could rock and roll. You know, I mean, you do quick slash cuts, stabs if you choose to. Um, you know, I mean, yeah, sure, we're talking about quite possibly uh, hurting, severely hurting, or killing a person. But what's the other outcome? Not one that I want. So, uh, you know, please forgive me if... Uh, you think it's over the top, but I think it's a necessary thing to think about. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to each one of these in particular. This is the first one I did. It has a section of scripture on it. First John eight thirty one and thirty two. I don't know if you'll be able to make that out. If you can't, and you're interested in what it says, you can look it up. Most of us have a Bible, and if not, you're on the internet, so you can look it up there. All these have my maker's mark on them, uh, M-A-G, or MAG, for MAG knives. My company, hopefully, one day, uh, I can get that started up. Um, this is the first one I did. This is the last one I did. This is my favorite by far. Uh, just looks super cool. I don't know if you can really make out that pattern. Uh, but it kind of looks like clouds or something like that. Really, really cool. This one also has my maker's mark, if I can find it. There we go. This one's a little bit fainter, so I don't know if you'll be able to make it up on camera. Make it out, sorry. You can kind of see the M there. And the A and the G, perhaps. And this was the second one that I did. I've only done three of these. Yeah, three. Um... This one is really, really cool, uh, but I think it might be my least favorite, just because I can't see myself wearing it. I can see myself wearing these too, no problem. I've actually been wearing this one for the last few days. But uh, this one is really awesome. I could see myself maybe wearing it around Halloween. The reason behind this is it's got a face in it. It's kind of like a ghost or an alien or something like that. I don't know. I like this one. It's really cool. Uh, I just, you know, can't see myself wearing it. Um, this one uh, didn't come out perfect. Um, the patterns on these two were done by heat. Uh, I just used a pocket torch to heat it up and kind of put a weird pattern on the plastic. It gives it texture, bumps and stuff, and it feels really cool. Looks really cool. Uh, this one, I did that, and I overheated the eyes. So they have some heat fractures in them. Um, so I'm not quite sure how strong it is across the eyes. Uh, this is a thin material, but it's a very durable plastic. I do not know the proper name for it. All three of these have gone through somewhat testing. Uh, you know, I take them. I had a 2x2 two two clamped in my vise, and I just hammered these things into that 2x2, two two, left major dents and dings, and did not crack, chip, or break in any fashion. Uh, so that kind of tells you a little bit of how strong these are. Um, I may not be the world's strongest guy, but I'm definitely not a weakling. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that. I just had to get it to focus far away. Um, there's got to be more than I want to talk about. Oh, yeah, this one. Uh, heat fractured the eyes, unfortunately. It still... 
pretty strong, but I'm not sure how strong it is. Uh, and I'm not sure what I want to do with this one. I'm not sure if I want to martyr it and put it through some uh, kind of extreme testing and see what it would take before it breaks. Or if I just want to hold on to it and maybe throw it into a trade sometime. Something like that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You guys uh, let me know in the comments what you think I should do with this one. If I should extreme you know, test with it and really pound it into some uh, hard materials. You know, of course, I'd start off with wood probably and then I don't know, move on from that to harder and harder objects until it fails. Um, yeah, so let me know. Of course, if I did that, I'd film it all. Uh, so, uh, yeah. That's pretty much this video. Uh, I know it's kind of long. I think it's a, sort of a heavy topic. I kind of covered my opinions on self-defense, what you would do for that um, to save your life or the life of others. Also, comments. Uh, if you feel like it, um, post a comment on your opinions of self-defense, what you think is a good means of self-defense. Uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, tell me if you think that these are stupid and pointless for a defensive tool. I don't think so. I think it's a very good implement. Or tell me if you'd be better off uh, carrying pepper spray, in your opinion. Um, of, call, of course, all this is opinion. So, you know, there will be no facts uh, in this just depends on you, your person, what you're capable of doing, what you would prefer. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to, or if you really want to, uh, you can put a video response on this video and go ahead and explain your feelings on the situation. Uh, you know, once again, you know, I believe the greatest form of believing is preparation. Uh, the last thing I want to do is use one of these, you know, well, that's not necessarily true. I'd much rather use these than these. I'd much rather use these than these, and so on and so forth, uh, with things scattered in between. Um, so, anyways, that's it. Sorry about the long video. It's going to be pushing... I guess 14 minutes uh, so if you stuck with it all this long thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time